Hello, this video has no real intents or purpose. That's why I mentioned random. So the random is there for a reason. Number one, people that asks you to follow back on Instagram. It's 2023. I feel like we should leave this behavior back in 2022 because it's just weird. If I want to follow you, I would follow you back. If I want to see the type of content that you post, I would follow you back. We're adults. We know what we want on the internet. So I'm not following you back for a reason. And nine, nine times out of 10, even if you forced me to follow you back, I always end up unfollowing. I'm not that petty, but when it comes to people like this, I actually do unfollow them because I literally don't want to see what you're going to be posting. Yeah. And even if I do want to follow you back, the fact that you have to mention, it just, it just annoys me. You know, it's that type of thing where you, when you want to do something, but someone tells you to do it and all of a sudden you don't want to do it. It feels like a chore. So don't tell people to follow you back. If you want to follow you, they would follow you. Believe me. Number two, people that ask you to be friends, sometimes literally seconds after you started talking. Or it could be minutes like the thing is i feel like people these days just kind of throw around the word friendship so randomly um at, at least get to know someone's favorite color as ubiquitous as that sounds try to get to know someone a little bit more but you don't know anything about this person you don't know whether if i'm a serial killer you don't know whether if i'm you don't know anything about me and you're asking to be friends i feel like the word friendship is kind of losing its meaning with the whole internet thing but at least get to know someone's favorite color someone's favorite food as basic as that sounds but at least get to know some basic stuff about someone before asking them to be your friend yeah and number three this one really 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 annoys me and it is when i'm walking fast and someone comes and walk past through I consider myself to be someone who walks really fast so it's really disrespectful to me when I see someone walk past through me like the fact that you just did that I don't know I don't necessarily hate the person but it just annoys me like I don't know I don't have much explanation behind this one it's just annoying to me and uh I think number four yeah when people say if I want you I can have you like I find this so annoying it doesn't matter whether if you're the most attractive person on earth it is just such an egotistical thing of you to say you probably could have them but the moment you mention that it just makes you seem like a very narcissistic person in general and i get maybe some people don't say it from i i just don't know it just it's weird why would you say that don't say that even if you could actually have the person if you really wanted them just don't say that okay and number five also another bus situation and it is when you offer someone a seat mostly girls and they stubbornly decline emphasis on stubbornly i don't know is it an ego thing you have if i offered you a seat and you're like you know it's okay when you're like oh no it's okay you could sit but I offered several times, maybe three times or four times. Don't make a huge deal about it, just sit. And sometimes I will go out of my way to stand up, go all the way somewhere else, just to give you a sit. There's this one time, I offered this girl a seat. I was having a lot of stuff. I was carrying a lot of stuff. My bag, you know, being an architecture student, architects could relate. I carried my bag, papers and everything. I went out of my way to give this lady a seat. And as I mentioned to my brother, the reason why I even gave her is just because she just seemed like a nice person. So I offered her a seat, but she stubbornly said no. And she just stood there. She just stood there. And it was really, really embarrassing. We just left the seat empty and nobody sat till the, the, till the time that I dropped. Could you imagine how embarrassing that is? Please, if someone offers you something, don't be stubborn. Just take it. You're not gonna die. And number six, when 
when people don't ask you questions back in a conversation. If we're having a conversation and it's just one-sided, I always end up being the one asking you stuff. This is more of like an, an interview, less than a conversation, because that's not how the conversation works. You ask me, I ask you. It just goes to show that you're not really interested in what, what, what my life has to offer or whatever it is that we're talking about you don't really care about my point of view i'm always the one trying to show interest in what you have to say yeah maybe you don't actually care but i think it's not a nice thing to do and every once in a while just try to oh and let's even get to the basics of it sometimes as basic as asking someone how are you they wouldn't ask you how are you back they would just be there hey how are you i'm fine how was your day it was good what did you eat spaghetti that's just how it goes not even what about you even that it's very lazy because you're just asking me back the same thing that i asked you but some people don't even go out of their way to even replicate the question that i asked them and i, f I find it really um i don't know it's just not a nice thing to do number seven when and this is more of like a I don't know more of like a TikTok thing a real thing it's more of like a trend but when people do say they would write a caption like someone saying that oh nigerians aren't pretty and then they would go to show their pictures just to contradict that statement nobody says that you're the one who said that and i get it's a trend maybe i'm i'm taking it too seriously but i always find it annoying because nobody mentioned that nobody said those people, those group of people aren't pretty. Hispanic people aren't this, Asian people aren't this. Nobody says that. You're just trying to make a point. I just just admit you're trying to flex something. And I, as I said, I get it's a trend, but some trends just, I don't know. And number eight. This one also I find really annoying. And it is when you call someone and they didn't pick, and then you don't leave a message always leave a message if you don't leave a message i will always assume that it's not something important it might be but being the type of person that i am i normally don't like phone calls so it takes kind of a lot for me to go out of my way to respond i'm not saying that i don't call back but you don't leave me anticipating what you're gonna tell me and nine times out of ten if i don't see a message left after the missed phone call I would just, I don't know, I would just assume that it's not something important, which you wouldn't want that, right? So always leave a message. And I feel like I'm not the only person who feels this way about it. Yeah. And number nine, when people use a instead of an and vice versa. And you know what pains me the most about this one? My favorite YouTuber. I really love her content but she also makes this mistake and it really pains me that i cannot avoid it it's just the moment someone mentions it's like it always rings a bell in my head i feel bad for always identifying this and it makes me sound as if like i can i cannot be a victim to this type of mistake but it's just too loud in my head when someone mentions it i don't want to sound make it sound this way but you know vowels goes with and yeah, words that starts with consonants goes with A. Imagine like saying a apple, a umbrella, a orange. I feel like it's something subconscious that doesn't even sound right in your head. I don't know. I'm going to leave this, leave this here because if I keep uh, explaining it, it's just going to make me sound as if maybe I'm being ignorant to something. I don't know people I, I don't know i don't know i don't know really i don't know and number 10 i'm finalizing it with this one because it's been i feel like at this point people do it intentionally because i feel like people do this one just so they can get engagement in their comment section but when people use you know there and there they sound the same but maybe i'm gonna Put them on the screen they're different they are and they're people always misuse these two and it's too much to the extent that i feel like people are doing it intentionally because 
why people do it a lot and they they get corrected in the comment section multiple times so it's just too crazy that people still do it or i don't know maybe the internet is messing up people's english but it's just annoying for this one i don't know whether if it's more of like annoying me or even offending me and it's when i'm sitting in a bus next to someone and they saw an empty seat and they switched i'm like dude what do i stink am i ugly am i disturbing your peace i just don't know and i, I know they probably don't mean it to come up as that way but i mean i wouldn't do that to someone I feel like they would feel offended in a way because we were sitting here happily ever after till we reach our stop why would you get off to change your seat maybe sometimes you, you you saw a seat that is much more comfortable maybe it is less congested than the place where you were sitting i also don't want to be sitting with you but the fact that you had to switch when i'm not doing anything crazy i'm not listening to something loud I know I don't stink, yeah, so I don't know, it's just kind of offensive, it's kind of offensive, not gonna lie, and I feel like some of you might kind of relate to that, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Yeah, I'm finalizing it with this one, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, and if you want me to do more, I have a, that is in case if you enjoy this one. I have a different list of things that I like about people or things that I like in general and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye